Hi everyone and welcome to Mountain Blade Warband. So, I decided to maybe post a few videos on my channel of a game that hasn't really been done to death quite yet. You see a lot of uh, multiplayer videos, you know, duels and battles and things, and you know, oh, I've got 400 soldiers in this battle. But you don't really see any real single player gameplay, so I figured for anybody who wants to see it, maybe I'll do some of it. So without further ado, let's go. Most of the game is told to you in text, so I'm not going to read all of it aloud. If you want to read it, just pause the video. It's just mostly, this part's just an introduction. It doesn't really matter. Mail. Uh, and this, this part just des decides your starting stats. It doesn't really mean very much other than that. So we will go with, hmm, how about a... Eh, veteran warrior. And became craftsman's apprentice. Then a university student. I am motivated by being forced out of my house. So let's call this one. Ulysses. Alright, so these are pretty good starting stats. I mean, I do... Agility should usually be pretty high, but that's that's good. That's good enough. Make it a 9. Then we'll go with Power Strike. Let's see. Gotta increase riding. Hmm. Trade, definitely. Engineer, sure. Uh, surgery, inventory management. And I'll explain all of these skills if anybody's wondering. I'll just go down a quick list. Iron Flesh increases your health. Power Strike increases melee damage. Power Throw is for thrown weapons. Power Draw is for bows. Weapon Master makes you swing weapons faster and deal more damage. Shield improves your proficiency with shields, obviously. Athletics makes you run faster. Riding makes you ride horses faster. Horse archery makes you more accurate while shooting on horseback. Looting gives you more loot after battles. Training gives soldiers, like there's an experience bonus for soldiers that are below your level every night. It increases the bonus. Tracking lets you track, you know, parties. It gives you like these little arrows that show you where they've been. Tactics, I honestly have no idea. It doesn't really mean very much to me. Pathfinding increases your map movement speed, which reminds me you should probably increase that. Actually, wait. Pathfinding is usually just about one of the most important skills in the game, so you should always have it maxed out. Good tip. Uh, spotting lets you spot other parties on the map faster. Inventory management increases your inventory size. Wound treatment increases the healing speed of your soldiers when not in battle. Surgery decreases the chance that you'll that your soldiers will be killed in battle. First aid it in uh it allows your character to heal more after battles. Engineers for constructing stuff later on in the game. Persuasion is for persuading people. Prisoner management increases the number of prisoners you can have. Leadership increases the number of soldiers you can have. And trade makes it so you can buy for less and sell for more. Items, that is. So, without further ado, I'll put the last point into writing. And, huh. Never get a lot of points and bows when I start out for whatever reason. go. A lot of the character skins look kind of funny. Go with just the stubble. That ought to do it. We will go to, hmm, 
I suppose we will go to Praven. Basically, that text just said, you know, you travel to Praven, and then you hear a sword sliding out of its scabbard. The hit detection in this game is really bad. It just is. I don't like using shields, so I usually just not use the one I'm given. Merchant takes you in. That was a merchant if you didn't. Yeah, see Merchant of Praven. Oh, that's kick. Basically, what he just said is my brother was kidnapped. I want you to find the robbers. You know, collect some soldiers, find the robbers, and I'll pay you. That was the gist of it. Alright, looks like I started out with a book, which is really good because books are. Probably the most expensive items in the game. Next to like plate armor and that sort of thing. Let's see. Uh, I don't have enough strength to wield a lot of these. Hmm. Well... That kind of sucks. I guess all I can really use is rusty sword. I'm going to get rid of the kite shield, though. I don't really need it. So I guess we'll do the tutorial quest first and just find some soldiers. You do that by going to villages and then recruit volunteers. Don't want to fight the looters with four What's people. This then, eh? <laughs> oh, well, this is great. Yeah, fighting, fighting people with uh, when they are outnumbering you three to one isn't exactly a favorable battle condition, especially when it's in a mountain pass. There they are. Hmm. Hey, that shot didn't even make it. And they're throwing stones at me. Sad thing is, those rocks will probably do... Yeah, they'll do some pretty bad damage if I keep getting hit. I have a feeling all those men I just got are going to get killed. This is not favorable. Horses really don't like mountain passes. that is pretty cool is you can seamlessly switch between first and third person. And the third person camera is probably one of the best third person cameras I've ever played with in a sort of melee fighting game. Alright, looks like I can just need a mop up. is this? There we go. Oh, I leveled up. Alright. Let's see. At least I can use their armor. 
Even though it looks kind of dumb. This is something. Let's see what I can increase. I should probably increase strength since it seems like everything requires 10 strength. And then I'll increase power strike one more time. Because it's important that you want to make sure you deal a lot of damage in the early game. Because that's one of the most annoying things is if your character can hit other... They can hit enemies repeatedly and just doesn't seem to do anything. I'm going to put in... I have nothing in power draw, which I should probably change. Usually when you're out when your army is outnumbered 3 to 1, you won't be able to pull something like that off simply because the enemies probably won't be throwing rocks at you. Later on, it just it gets a whole lot harder. Wonderful. When you open up a window, so this sort of thing, if the background is black, it means they're neutral. And if it's green, they're friendly. And if it's red, they're not so friendly. Just another tidbit. Oh, wait. That window basically just said, find the robbers and get them to tell you where their base is. I've been looking for you. Tell me where your prisoners are and I'll let you go. Yeah, I know this is kind of lame. The game gets a lot more epic, let's call it, and later on. It's just like every other RPG in that when you start, you're always doing the grunt work. It's kind of boring. You're basically just killing the giant rats of Mountain Blade until you finally can move up to bigger game. There you are. If you get a headshot, it actually will deal more damage. Let's see if I can get one. Nope. I missed again. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop trying to do the stab. It's just the sword's range is just, it feels weird. is full. That ought to do it. Should probably sell some of this stuff. Whoops. Also need to say to read that book. Should probably get some food. So your party's morale is actually a factor in this game. So you get food to increase it. I don't think I'll get two fruit. Yep, cabbage. Uh, and the more food you have, you know, the more their morale goes up, as well as the greater variety of food. So you want to have, like, as much food as possible. And what am I doing on this menu? Need some money. So what do they say? It's over, way over there. Map traveling, it's pretty annoying. I can cut it out if I really, if 
it's really that boring that it's just unwatchable. I guess just hum your ABCs until I get there. <laughs> 